In a critical care environment, there's quite a lot of focus on the physical needs of the patient. And I think it's just really important that we don't overlook the psychological side of patients' care and the impact of not being able to communicate and that we do address communication needs as soon as the patient is awake. One of the key problems that we have to deal with in intensive care after patients have been critically ill is actually confusion, actually delirium. And I think frustration with an inability to communicate can actually exacerbate that problem. I can only imagine how frustrating it is for the patient when they can't say, I'm really thirsty, or I'm really hungry, or I'm tired, or I've got a headache. So it's things we take for granted. So I think um, communication is really, really important between the nurse and the patient. Lots of research and my experience on this ward shows that patients who aren't able to communicate can become very, very down and depressed. So I think the sooner we get communication in place, the sooner we give them a voice back or any other forms of communication, it just gives them an emotional boost and it does help in the recovery just because they feel more positive and more involved in their care.